Welcome back to the Tower Tech. Today, we're looking at how you bend and cut PETG hardline tubing. Roll the credits. So let's start by giving you a quick overview of the tools that we're going to need. Now, my big call out and health warning guys, only use these tools and techniques if you're using PETG hardline tubing. If you're using acrylic tubing, its properties are completely different. It's much, much more brittle. You're going to snap your tubing and you're potentially going to hurt yourself. So this set of techniques is for PETG tubing only. And the things that we're going to need first and foremost is a rubber inner tube now that will need to match the inner diameter of the tubing that you're using we're in the uk so i'm afraid that we'll be using metric uh, and the tubing that we've got is a 13 millimeter outer diameter and a 10 millimeter internal diameter now these tubes quite often come in kits it will be explicitly listed for the tubing sizing that you're using, so make sure that you get that right. We've also got a couple of cutting tools. So I've got a standard plumber's cutter. I picked this up in the uh, very cheaply in a hardware store just around the corner from my house. And we've also got a uh, cutter for soft tubing so uh, again this was relatively cheap I think I think this was about a fiver and I think this was about six or seven pounds so not so not very expensive at all what why on earth Michael have you got a soft tube cutter I hear you cry well stay tuned guys and you will find out and last but by no means least we need a hot gun so you typically would use these for stripping paint off of the wall you need to find one that's got a relatively flat base on it so that you can set that down on a sturdy surface and it's not going to wobble on the ground and, and rock about so let's start off by talking about how hard it is to cut and bend tubing now i tend to do this by eye and you can see here all of the various scraps and off cuttings that I've got here from attempts when I put my PC together to, to get the bends right. It's quite tricky to do. You can buy kits, Monsoon do a fantastic kit where you get a whole set of metal um, kind of like gimbal type things that you can actually screw down to a wooden board and that you can bend the tubing round and that allows you to get exact turns it seemed like quite an expensive kit to me and that seemed like quite a laborious process so so i've done it by eye um, but you can see that you end up with um, an awful lot of mistakes coming out the back of it so it's not for the faint-hearted it is much more time consuming than soft tubing obviously it's soft so soft tubing is relatively straightforward to bend around into the right positions but you do get a much superior effect from hardline tubing so personally for me I think it's worth the effort so let's just put those to the side for one second and let's start off by talking about cutting the tubing so again my health warning PETG tubing only and the first tool that we're going to look at is the plumber's tube cutter of course if you want to know how to cut tubes uh, go and talk to a plumber so this is a very straightforward uh, piece of equipment to use it's got a cutting disc inside there you put the tube inside and you literally just crank this down um, until it starts to bite into the plastic so if I just give you a quick demonstration so that bites down and you literally just spin this round a couple of times tighten it up again a couple more turns tighten turn and you just keep going until you've cut through and this would be the method that they would use when they're plumbing up housing to cut through copper piping won't work on acrylic the acrylic will just shatter absolutely fine for PETG and what you see there is a nice clean cut little bit of residue in there that you can just clean out with a step bit um, 
absolutely no need to use sandpaper on this like you would need to with acrylic much much more straightforward and simple to cut and believe it or not that's actually the more laborious way of cutting the tubing so the simplest and most straightforward way is to get your your standard soft tubing cutter find the position on the tubing that you want to cut line it up squeeze now if you have a look at that in comparison to that that if you can see hopefully you can catch that on the camera is a much 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 cleaner cut I suspect that's probably out of focus um, just to show you that one more time line your cutter up squeeze cut done really couldn't be any more simple than that but again if you do that with acrylic the acrylic's going to shatter so hopefully you can start to see pretty quickly all of the reasons that using PETG tubing is far superior to acrylic so let's get into the real meat of this now so you you want to do a bend so the first bit of kit is your rubber tubing now you need to put this in the inside of the tube without this inside the tube the tube is going to collapse in on itself when you bend it so and that's not going to be particularly conducive to water flow so you need to put this tubing in they sometimes can be quite a snug fit there is a, a degree of accuracy both in the manufacturer of the PETG tubing itself but also with the rubber tubing as well so it can take a, a little bit of greasing to get the tubing in there once your tubing is in we need to get a heat gun of course now this comes with the normal set of health warnings this is going to get hot don't touch it the tubing is also likely to get hot now you can use yourself a pair of thermal gloves i certainly started off doing that i found that they found it quite difficult to work and manipulate the tubing so i have just aired and chosen to be cautious and careful instead okay just give that a second to warm up now what you want to do is you want to get a nice even distribution across the tubing you want to keep it moving you don't want any particular spot to get hotter than one other and ideally the side that is on the opposite side of the inner turn of your bend you want a little bit warmer so let's demonstrate so keep the tubing moving it's also worth pointing out that it's uh, it's wise to give the tubing a wipe before you put it to the heat if you've got any particulates or rubbish on the tubing it's, it's just going to melt in there and it's not going to be pleasant at all so I'm actually spinning this tubing as well as moving it backwards and forwards trying to get nice even distribution of heat obviously if you move it closer to the gun it's going to get hotter quicker and you can probably just see it starting to become supple now don't get over excited you don't want to uh, you don't want to bend this too quickly if you bend it too quickly what you're going to end up with is a horrible flat stop uh, flat spot should I say on the outer side of your bend so even though it's starting to become supple you just want to keep applying the heat probably worth moving it away from the heat gun at this point point. you decide which way you're going to bend and just start to apply a little bit more heat to the outer side of your bend just so that you get nice and supple and nice slow consistent bend switch that off and now the boring bit you just need to hold it in place 
worth just checking all the way round. The tubing's as you expect it to be. Nice right angle. No twists. The reason that we've got no twists is because we've applied the right amount of heat for the right amount of time. It does take a little while to cool down. You can blow on it if you feel so inclined. Help it cool down just a little bit quicker. It's actually still supple, so you could still manipulate the bend. Obviously, you don't want to overdo that. The more that you mess around with this now, the, the more likely the bend is to become twisted so should just be a case of holding it at a nice 90 degree right angle you can feel with your hands that it's starting to solidify once again Still pretty warm to the touch. Okay. So that's cooled down, all there is left to do is pull the rubber tubing out. There we go guys, simple, straightforward. That's how you bend and cut PETG tubing. So there we go guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you're not already subscribed, please do so, otherwise you're gonna miss me changing the colour theme on my custom watercool PC inspired by Jay's Two Cents Skunk Works build, so you don't want to miss that. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't, you know what to do. I hope you're well wherever in the world you are, and I'll see you in my next video.